Hey, what up, everybody? Stevie Breach coming to you here today. Enjoying my coffee as we sit here at the uh, gym before I go in uh, today to have some fun before I go to work. Um, I guess I did my math wrong. I, I'm here really, really early. For some reason, last night when we got home from the movies, I did the math and I was like, if I leave at 6.30, I go to the gym for an hour, I'll make it to work and I'll get there before 9.00 and somehow I lost an hour. I guess maybe I thought I was gonna do some extreme Hulk workout of um, being in the gym for two hours, but uh, I don't know. But uh, last night uh, was Monday Night Raw. I'm listening to the Raw report on the uh, Wrestling Observer right now. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, Seth Rollins uh, versus um, the Demon King Finn Balor. Uh, right now and uh, I will tell you that last night I did not watch raw uh, because we went to the movies and we saw suicide squad um, It was it was pretty cool. I uh, I pulled into a.m. p.m. I was pumping some gas. I opened up the Instagram and uh, There was a picture of Finn Balor actually dressed up as the demon and I talked about this in my raw preview yesterday Honestly, I, I don't know. Normally, if it's before a pay-per-view and the heel's going to actually call out the baby face, I thought we were going to get something like Shawn Michaels calling out Bret Hart after the Montreal Screwjob and the midget Bret Hart coming out to the ring and taking swings at DX. I thought it was going to be something like that, where Seth Rollins would come out, uh, call out Finn Balor. Balor wasn't on the show last week because of like a, a pre-taped interview. Um... And uh, I thought that honestly Rollins would call out Balor. Balor wouldn't be there again. And, um, you know, we'd have, you know, one of the local townie jobbers uh, dressed up as if he was a demon king and, and sort of get beat up by Rollins and make you think that, you know, he had no shot at SummerSlam, that he's in over his head and he's not going to become the Universal Champion. Instead, we actually got the real Raw debut of the demon coming down to the ring. Uh, now they call him the Demon King. Um, I thought that honestly, the paint was, was kind of basic. It al almost goes back to the first time we saw Finn Balor and NXT uh, come out with the, with the paints on. I do like the, the change of basically on the sides. Um, he had the scratched sort of words where it almost looked like he had been clawed. And uh, the words were, you know, engraved into him as, as somebody would have scratched them in with their fingernails or something like that. Um, it shows a different side of Finn Balor. And um, I really, really like it. I think that he honestly is a, is a great wrestler. And I think that honestly he is um, going to be with the guy who takes us into the new new era. I know that, the, you know, that we had the Finn Balor. Um, no, I apologize. We had the Roman Reigns experiment. Um, which never really paid off the way that WWE wanted it to. And now he's going after Rusev in the United States Championship. But um, win, lose, or draw at SummerSlam. This is Finn Balor's debut pay-per-view match for WWE. For them to put him into the Universal Championship match, with that probably being the second biggest match on the show, honestly, to me, it's the main event. I know that they want Brock Lesnar to be a big deal. Um, I thought it was cool seeing Brock Lesnar with Heath Slater, but um, I don't know. It's just um, it, it it's just not um, the same to me. I guess you know Brock's been around since he returned at WrestleMania 28. I guess that means he's been around for four years now, and um, I don't know. He lost the Taker at SummerSlam last year. Uh, but that's sort of a screw job match. That one gets thrown out. He lost um, to, to Cena in his debut match. He lost the uh, he lost the the World Heavyweight Championship in that. How did he lose the, the championship? Fuck. He got cashed in on, didn't he? By Rollins, um, and then he tried to get his uh, he tried to get the belt back, and then that's when Taker popped up at Battleground. I'm pretty sure that's the way it happened, but when the hell did when the hell did Rollins cash in on him? Oh, he cashed in on him at WrestleMania. That's right. With the with the Brock versus uh I was there, damn it. How do I not remember that? But um I don't know. Going back to Finn, man, I, I think that Finn looks really cool. 
For anybody who wants to know how I watched the show and, 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 and didn't watch the show, I, I mainly just watched the videos that uh, WWE uploads on Twitter. And uh, we watched that at the gas station um, before we left uh, to go to the movies. Um, my girlfriend is as much into Finn Balor as I am. We really can't wait um, for the uh, the match on Sunday. We're pumped for it. Um, when I look at SummerSlam, and it's four hours long plus, with a two-hour pre-show putting you at six to six and a half hours, it's way too fucking long. I, I know some matches that are going to be on there. And John, John Stewart's going to be... Um, making his return to WWE. I don't even think they should be highlighting his return um, after last year and the shenanigans of him turning on John Cena. Um, I know that there's Cesaro versus Sheamus. There's um, Rusev versus uh, Roman Reigns. Uh, there's uh, Randy Orton versus Brock Lesnar. There's uh, Dean Ambrose against Dolph Ziggler. That's honestly all of the matches that I could really think of. And there's not very many matches that I'm really excited, excited about. So we'll have to see what comes down to it. In my heart, I really think that that uh, Finn Balor is going to become the champion. In my brain, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, WWE loves to play the game uh, where it's a match here, a match there. And then finally you get the real match in the match that you don't really care about because you've seen it two months beforehand. Um, everything normally goes for a three-month period. I would love to see Finn Balor win the Universal Championship in the first match. I think that, honestly, that uh, we'll see Seth Rollins win. So uh, we'll have to see what, what really goes down. So Fun times up ahead. Universal Championship match. SummerSlam on Sunday. Let's see who wins.